Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Road Famous Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 2. Give it up for Tony. Hits clip. Holy moly. It's a packed Monday night at the Comedy Store. We did it again. Hi, live audience. Fuck yeah, this is so exciting. I'm glad you guys are here. We have another crazy show where us comedians and two other hilarious comedians always watch newer or uh, recently transplanted comedians, um, and uh, we talk about comedy. You guys excited or what? Yeah. It's like our uh, last episode of 2014, everybody, so we're doing a little uh, New Year's blowout. Um, not really. I mean, nothing really changed from the original format, but... Uh, we are filming in 4K now, so we're going to have a crazy high-definition Kill Tony's coming very soon. Technology, yeah. everybody. Technology that North Korea can't fuck up. And we got a new sound uh, recorder, and we had a benefit show, so we were getting a new sound system put here in here for the belly room. Finally. We raised a bunch of money to put yeah. new speakers in here. How about that? Yeah. Instead of listening to it on... Uh, instead of listening to live shows on these two uh, car speakers yeah. that, that were stolen from somebody's car in the parking lot. Take a quick look at how small those two speakers <laughs> actually are. And there's only two. At a world famous comedy club. <laughs> you walk inside and there's two AM radios hanging from the ceilings. <laughs> That's what they look like, like boom boxes. <laughs> right, it looks like it has a <laughs> dial that, that would get scratchy in between things. Yeah. Laney, be careful. There's a new camera there. Yeah, don't touch Super that camera. Expensive. It's Laney and Jerry, uh, put your hands together for them. They make it to pretty much every episode, these two. <laughs> it's like if I had real parents. Uh, and they're sitting next to our one and only sponsor eating her own delicious food. It's the great Elise Lane, everybody. She's here, <laughs> live in the flesh. She made something delicious tonight. And normally I read, you know, the crazy words that, you know, she's a gourmet chef, so it's hard to say some words. And uh, one of the things that we did in 2014 is we came up with a part of the show where uh, Josh Martin, this was actually his idea, is he reads it and he has a speech impediment. And if he fucks up at any point or pauses or stutters th or says something dumb, he gets hit in the nuts from Brian. And we did this, uh, you know, six or seven times, and it was a lot of fun. And... Even Josh. though I think a lot of people thought that we were hurting him when it really was his idea. He right. likes getting hit in the nuts. Yeah, he, he, he loves it. He pays women to stomp on his balls with high heels, so it's nothing. Well, that part wasn't true. About <laughs> the, uh, but um, so we're going to do it one more time as one of our favorite segments of 2014. One last time, Josh Martin reads what we ate tonight, what the gourmet chef cooked for us. And... If he fucks up at any point, he gets hit in the nuts. Are you guys ready for Will Josh get hit in the nuts? It's that time. Now, you know the deal. Uh, I'm going to hand it to him. You guys get in position. And I, what, should I, what weapon should I use today? Well, you know, just make sure you don't... Something that happened a couple times is you, like, accidentally tap him in the nuts before wow. he fucks up. So be careful not to do that. Wait until okay. he fucks up. Can, 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 Hold on. Wait. Because he tries to read it before each time. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't want him to it's read on. it and get warmed I up. I just want to find out which word I can fuck up on so I can get hit in the nuts. He wants it bad tonight. All right. You guys ready for this? If he fucks up at any point, he gets hit in the nuts. It's pretty simple. It's comedy 101 to get you guys warmed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stop same. giving it to him. Just read Go. it. Okay. Uh, tonight we have roasted chicken with lemony Mediterranean orzo with cherry tomatoes. <laughs> Just hit me in the nuts because oh. I don't know that word. <laughs> Cow, tomato, olives, feta cheese, mint, and lemon zest. Very oh, good. Uh, one tap for each testicle, and he's out. <laughs> it's true. It really isn't as funny as it used to be. <laughs> it's it, completely it's lost its momentum. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't feel the pain. Like if if somebody was up here, the action. Yeah, it, the whole thing's just <laughs> creepy because he likes getting hit in the nuts. I know. Now my uh, hands one smells. thing that does still work and that we've been doing for the last, I think, five or six weeks in a row is uh, bringing up our favorite uh, musical guest. He's so funny to us. Put your hands together for put your hands together for Pat Reagan, everybody. Here he is. Here he is, live in the flesh. Tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name's Pat, and uh, I'm a prophet. And I'm here to tell you about the end of the world. 
It's coming very, very soon. So uh, enjoy this song while well, you still can. Instead, they end up dead in my swimming pool Makes you sort of wonder why Why do we live here? What the fuck are we doing? And where we gonna go in the big shit pub? We can't survive here It's a fucking desert Have you seen the traffic? I knew it is You can travel this land with your dick in your hand your head right up your ass But there's a record fucking drought Bad as the line it in and out Let's see how long our water lasts Ooh, ooh, why do we live here? What the fuck are we doing? And where are we gonna go when the big shit comes? We don't belong here Probably gonna be an earthquake And we're all gonna die On the one of the You can shut go I'm going I'm gonna shut my windows, close my blinds, turn on my AC. I don't aim to be there for the end times I'll just watch it on TV The rising waters will envelop the coasts The sun will scorch our backs Keith Richards will be safe in a magic boat With Magic Johnson and Greg's dad I've been a douchebag, been a scumbag Had a browser's account At last it was all in vain Cause no maternal curvy Asian who could one day be a Reagan will survive the end of days. One more time, why do we live here? What the fuck are we doing? And where we gonna go when the big shit comes? Why do we live here? What the fuck are we doing? And where we gonna go when the big shit comes? Why do Thank you, guys. Fuck well, yeah. <laughs> Pat Reagan. I know it was weird, but thanks. That was amazing. Pat Reagan, everybody, is on Twitter at Patty Reagan, P-A-T-T-Y-R-E-G-A-N. One more time for Pat Reagan, everybody. Uh, I love him. So awesome. You know, every single week, uh, we also have a uh, head of security that stays with us during the entire show, keeps us safe. Uh, used to be a guy in a $5,000 Iron Patriot outfit. Iron Patriot's sort of like a, a patriotic version of Iron Man. 
And uh, there was a guy that had this amazing suit, said he was a big fan of uh, the Death Squad podcast and that he wanted to be on it. So we let him, uh, we let him be on the show wearing this $5,000 Iron Patriot outfit for uh, 20 or 30 some episodes. And the show started to get bigger and more popular. And he said that it was because of him. And he left the show and, and demanded that I only contact him when it gets put on TV, which the whole point of it is that it, it can't be put on TV because it's raw and anything can happen here. And, uh, but anyway, um, ever since then, to show him how replaceable he is, every single week we have a completely different person in a $15 Amazon outfit of the same kind do exactly a better job at what that guy was doing right there standing th on that stage. Uh, so uh, our Iron Patriot this week is actually, it's this guy's second time doing it. We loved him the first time. Uh, very funny young comic uh, who's suited up for tonight. Put your hands together for Jerron Horton. He is a racist patriot. Very racist, we found out last time he was here. Mostly against Asians. The anti-Asian patriot in a surprising twist. Underneath the suit, he is a light-skinned black man. <laughs> and uh, we found out you're a little bit racist against Asians, right? Uh, not racist. I just I feel like they're not discriminated enough against. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so not racist at all. Just uh, feels like they should be discriminated against more. That's like the opposite of racism. I love your style. <laughs> I love his hands up. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I get it. That's yeah, great. Black Lives Matter. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm actually wearing a uh, I Can't Breathe shirt under here. Can't see it. Wow. Representing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He also has my car stereo in his car. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, well, we're glad you're back. Um, how's everything going? Everything's great. You excited about tonight's guests? I am. Me I, too. You ready to bring him up? Yeah, let's bring him up. Let's do it. Guys, tonight, two of my funniest friends, as always, and uh, t as always, a very special one. Put your hands together for them. It's Jesus Trejo and Russell Peters, everybody. <laughs> Two of the funniest people I know. No big deal. What's up, buddy? Russell Peters, Jesus Hi, Trejo. Ah. They've both been on the show once time before. Our sponsor's a chef. That's Elise awesome. Lane sitting over meant? there. Yeah, right over there. She's a gourmet chef. Thank and... Uh, um, I'm excited for you to try Should your probably food. probably use a microphone, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, I'm excited for you to try your food because you're probably the only comedian that we've had on uh, this show in the past you know, 15 weeks that she's been our one sponsor. She cooks for the guests. You're mm -hmm. probably the only comedian that we've had on the show that can actually hire her for something. Uh, I, actually, I actually do need a chef because I'm getting fatter than you can fucking imagine. There you go. There she you specializes um, in, uh, in vegan and uh, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't say I became gay. I just said uh, I'm <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Are you a vegan type? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I dabble in I get You do I, dabble. <laughs> I, can't, I can't have dairy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you from, like, Midwest? Yeah, it's weird. You're the weirdest Midwest. I know. And Red Bank. Hey, what about you? Oh, you uh, I can eat everything. Yeah, you're like me, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. And He's Jesus is just too poor to eat. But Yeah, too poor. Um, <laughs> 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 Jesus, how's it going? What's going on in your life? Anything crazy? Uh, not chilling. I'm just excited about the Slim Patriot over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, look at that. He is a skinny one. <laughs> He's a skinny one. Huh? Yeah, that one either. I think he, <laughs> I think he just short circuited for a second. <laughs> yeah. uh, Patriot, every week, uh, you o everybody always has questions for the guests. What are your questions for the tonight's guests? Uh, first one's for Russell. Uh, Russell, I looked you up. I see that you tour all over the world. Right. Uh, what's your favorite country to tour uh, perform in? Um, you know, I, I I think I like South Africa quite a bit, which I'll be going back to in a couple of weeks. It's an honest not. answer. It wasn't even funny. It was just an honest <laughs> answer. And uh, it was the first place I was ever famous, like yeah, on wow. any level. Wow! Like thirteen years ago, fourteen really? years ago. Yeah, I literally first place I had to change my name at the hotel. Wow, that's amazing. Pistorius ever come out to see you? Wait, uh, that's South Africa. <laughs> yeah, that's South Africa. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said, right? Yeah, he bounced over a couple of times. Yeah. No, I, uh, <laughs> I never met him. Uh, Good thing is, is if he doesn't like your act, he probably stays through the whole thing. You know what I mean? Because yeah, that's super he, he awkward. Can't, it's hard to sneak out. Right. It's like wearing tap shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> click, <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> Going somewhere? By, by the way, no. pa Patriot, I love that you said that you looked that up, that he tours around the world doing stadiums. Good job. Uh, I appreciate your awareness. <laughs> 
Uh, what was the grumpy cat like? You you recently met the grumpy uh, cat. Oh, the grumpy cat. She she's actually a really sweet little cat. She's not. Um, she just looks miserable, but she's just. She's she's a dwarf cat. Did you know that? Yeah. She's got like short legs and shit. Yeah, it's adorable. It's one she's of my really, favorite celebrities. Yeah. I, I was, she really is. It's <laughs> it's super weird. I was once actually at an event the um when YouTube uh had the big YouTube comedy show like a year ago. I was there and helping some people write some things and and uh it was creepy because so the fault. red carpet had like real big celebrities. Really? Yeah. And that were on that show. And in the middle of it, sprinkled in, were internet celebrities. And <laughs> Grumpy Cat was literally on the red carpet. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Have you seen Dinky yet? Dinky the dog? It's no. just this pimp dog with sunglasses. just sits there with, like, a gun sticking out of its pants. It's awesome. Wow. You got to meet Dinky. You really, uh, you really go in, huh? Yeah. I'm into the animals. I'm not, I'm not the guy. I, I, people ask me, you must have seen blah, blah, blah. I go, no, that means I'd have to be fucking wasting my time on YouTube all right. day. When I yeah. could be looking at porn. Exactly. Like a, like a gentleman. Exactly. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of porn? What would we find in your search keywords? Uh, What's I'm the top one? I'm a fucking degenerate. Everything, huh? Uh, no, no. You just either. type in the word dirty. Yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> first it has to be uh, uh, feet, women's feet. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you forgot about that, right? And older women's feet, no, no less. Really? Yeah, not <laughs> fucked up versions of them. Oh my yeah. god! I don't know. I think he just blew something. <laughs> Blew a gasket. Now, if there's like a little cotton in between the toe, is that like the biggest that's turn not on? Good. That's no, not, that's, no, that's they bad. They can't be dirty. <laughs> oh. I, didn't, I didn't say I wanted fucking dirty feet. All right. Just pretty feet. And I don't want to do anything to them. I just like looking at them. It's not like I'm like fucking a chicken. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I need to know that they're there. The feet. Yeah. They, oh, there they are. Okay. We're good. Wow. I'm like the complete opposite. Like, I could be with like, An if Pistorius had a yeah. twin sister. Yeah. I don't need feet at all. Yeah. That's, uh, what is your thing? He likes amputee like, porn. Boys, what is it? What is it? Right, you know, like uh, <laughs> little vegan boys. Yeah, exactly. I like uh, we, vegan I, twinks. I, I just, I just, <laughs> I just type in my name in Google and start jerking off. That's pretty so, much it. So, so you like lesbian porn? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true. Hey, Seuss, how about you? What's your favorite porn? First thing you type in usually. First thing I type in is uh, BBW. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is a very nice. pro BBW yeah. crowd. <laughs> Holy shit. You Apparently got that you're big okay. roar. We're fucking assholes. <laughs> it's uh, like everybody in the room wanted to yell it at once. You said it. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> he's one of us. <laughs> BBW. Just, just, just in case you're wondering, that's not big black wieners. That's uh, <laughs> no, big, beautiful women, right? Well, I thought it was big black wieners. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I just settled for what I saw. Big, I, beautiful I like women. that I discovered what pog meant. Pog? Yeah, used to yeah, cardboard cutouts. Pog. Play. Wait, what is it? Pog perfect, the game. Perfect ass white oh. girls. Oh, P A W G. Yeah. I never heard that. I know what B B B W is though. What's that? Big black beautiful women. Uh, so that's ooh. what I usually go. Yeah, for. they're usually yeah. suggested underneath a B B W. Yeah. yeah I mean. <laughs> if, if you like these ones, <laughs> not that I've <laughs> tried the <laughs> other ones. <laughs> uh, Jaron, what's your question for Jesus? Uh, Jesus, I also looked you up. <laughs> Uh, there ain't shit up there. I noticed, I noticed it just said your birthday passed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. Yeah. No? All right. I, mean, I, um, <laughs> I, uh, I noticed that you've toured all over Texas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all over South Texas. <laughs> What's your favorite city to perform in in South Texas? <laughs> South Texas. <laughs> That's it. Uh, Corpus. I like uh, touring Corpus. Uh, I, I know Trevino, all five people right? there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's his own hometown. So his family's kind enough to go see me, and that's uh, my crowd. <laughs> Heck yeah, Corpus that's Christi. It. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Great questions, Patriot. Uh, well, you guys ready to get this thing kick started? Over thirty comedians signed up for the chance to do one minute. Uh, oh, wow. Then yes, wow, somebody oh, just yeah. figured out what the <laughs> fucking show is. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming out. Yeah. You uh, know, I, f I forgot what the fuck your show was about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I know. It's like the Kool-Aid man just came here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep that star on our side. Apparently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so uh, you know how it works. Co there's comedians stacked up against that wall over there, and uh, they signed up for the chance to do a minute. And if you get picked, wrap it up in a minute. Didn't I do you this know TV show already? No, that's a different one. <laughs> we don't judge. We don't, there's no winners and losers okay, here. Good, good. <laughs> we, just, uh, we just try to talk. Um, 
Uh, a minute's up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, oh, that means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> How about that one? Looks like somebody got the West Hollywood Bear a little dirt bike for Christmas. <laughs> He's got a heavy hoof. Yeah. And ran Paul into a cow at the end of all that. Well, uh, let's get it started. Here we go. Your first comedian tonight doing one minute is Tommy Rico. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate that. Uh, I'm a married guy. My wife is a successful attorney. I'm a stand-up comedian, a field where success is a more relative term. My wife, uh, when you, your woman makes a little more money than you, people ask questions like, who wears the pants in your family? Hey, I wear the pants. I mean, she buys them. And I wash them. But then I get to wear them. And when I put them on, if I look good, she smacks me on the ass, and I feel pretty. We got a... Uh, 12-month-old son who I helped make. He's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life, which is becoming a huge problem because you can't spoil your kid. You have to make sure the rewards max, match the deeds when they do something new. And a few months ago, my son learned how to hug his father. And I wrote him a check for $25,000. <laughs> I thought it was fair. It didn't clear, by the way, because I thought that was a lesson my son should learn right away. Daddy's long on love, but he's short on dough, kid. If you really want something... Hug your mother. That's what I do. All right, thank you guys very much. I appreciate Boom. it. Boom. Tommy Rico, 53 seconds. Uh, Tommy Rico. Hey, uh, can I ask? Uh, a 12 month old son, wouldn't that just be a year? Yeah, it's a year. Okay. <laughs> it's a year. Yeah. <laughs> you have to commemorate when the I, I was, My fucking ADD was fixated on it. I'm like, that's a year. He just turned, so. And what's your son's name? Lorenzo. Oh. Lorenzo Rico? Lorenzo Rico. That's Holy amazing. shit. I know. Look for him in 18 years in corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or uh, or one, 345 months. <laughs> uh, That's a math joke. There you go. That couldn't work out. It can't possibly end in a five. <laughs> Fuck. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. I could tell. Appreciate it. How long you been here? <laughs> been here for uh, a <laughs> uh, little under two years. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear it. So I went to him to my son, and I was like, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here? I, I, thought, he doing like, I thought he was doing a character of like That's an what I comic in the 80s. Like, no, so I talk like that. Like Phil <laughs> Hartman or something. It's a, it's a medium. I, I don't have that hard an accent, but when you move out here, everybody thinks something's an accent. So It sounds like a character. If you weren't going to say Boston, then I thought, all right, you're okay. playing a character. No, I'm a Boston it's, guy. That's, yeah. that's my affliction. So you came out here two years ago? Two years ago. For stand-up. For stand-up, uh... Took a little time off for the for the guy and just came back out. So, I'm oh yeah, all for over the again. guy. He's a year Moved old. Moved out here and realized that uh, no matter how many people you work with, no matter how long you've been doing it, uh, you start over, and it's humbling. Uh, it's a punch in the fucking face, and uh, if you can take it, uh, it's a beautiful place. I love L.A. How long were you doing it in Boston? I did 11 years there, two years oh. in San Antonio, Texas, and I've been here for the rest of the time. Wow, wow. Nice. exactly That's crazy. <laughs> what does the wife do? She's, She's an a attorney for a government uh, agency. Do you not pay attention to her? No, I missed that. <laughs> an attorney for a government agency? Yes. Wow. What? What? what CAA? Uh, uh, CAA. I, I can't tell you because the homeland would be less secure if I did. So wow. Mm. Don't run. Don't run. You're okay. okay. <laughs> hey, Zeus is cool. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> it's not INS. <laughs> Me, is, is your real name Tommy Rico? Uh, it's, uh, my last name is an unusable last name. Uh, there's already a famous guy with it. My last name is Morello. Uh, Mom's side of the family's Cuban. Last name's Rico. Last Rico uh, passed away. My grandmother passed away, so I took the name as, uh, as kind of a tribute. But, yeah, no. My last name is uh, Holy kind shit. of famous. Uh, that story who's, who's went nine generations. <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom Morello. Uh, yeah. Is your first name really yeah, Tommy? Yeah. No, he's, a, uh, he's the uh, guitarist yeah. from... Uh, Mozzarella. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Rage Against <laughs> Machine, Audio Slave. Yeah, Rage when I moved out here, I didn't realize that it was like telling people at a mic that, you, you know, oh, I'm Bruce Springsteen. Could I go up? And it, it, I got shit on quite a bit. So. so your name is literally Tom Morello. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that the bald guy? Yep. He's like the, he's the night he, watchman, he's, right? He's the he's, guy that introduced Kiss at the... Uh, at yeah, the, uh, yeah, Rock he and did. Roll he's, yeah, he's a badass really mother. Like an, yeah, he was yeah. an Italian last name, but he's like an ethnic Belange. I think. He's yeah, like he looks Kenyan like me. I thought he was me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he walked up, like, hey, what the fuck am I doing there? Yep. 
Do you play uh, any instruments? I do not, and uh, that would make it difficult if I was up on a marquee anytime soon. Have you ever met Tom Morello? I have not. He's a, he's a Harvard grad, and he lives up there, so he was aware of me because I did stand up under my own name for a while, but uh, nah, he doesn't call. He's it a Harvard right. grad? Yeah. Wow. Smart dude. How'd yeah. you do in Boston? Because I, no, I know Boston's comedy scene's coming back lately. It's kind of had a, like a weird time. Yeah, I love that. All I mean, the top I, comics are from there right yeah, now. Yeah, but... When I was there, guys, uh, like, there was a generation before me that was like Eugene Merman and Brendan Small and those guys. They, they kind of blew up. And then while I was there, it was uh, Mike Kaplan and Shane Moss. And so, I mean, it, Gary Gullman. Uh, I, I, I was there for a fun time, and I figured it, it was like shit or get off the pot time because I got older. So I had to be somewhere other than Boston to try to catch a break. Right. And then Blumenreich closed down the club. Yeah. Well, he he... he he sold up. I mean, he's got the big club now, 1,300 seats. That was so there. you've been the stay-at-home dad pretty much for the first year. Yeah. It's been awesome. It's What's the best that job like? I've ever had. He's, uh, he's great. I mean, I, I never wanted kids, so uh, when I found a, a great wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm like you, buddy. Yeah. I have one. I didn't want one. Yeah, but he's amazing. I, I'm glad I get to take care of it. It's the best day job I've ever had, that's for sure. So. What's fun about it? What would you do? Like, what's exciting? What stood out uh, to you? What surprised you about having to be a dad during the day? Wait, Beca- how old are you? Because I was – I'm 40. Oh, yeah. uh, because I was resistant to having kids, having one, I knew how hard it was going to be. So it was about as hard as I expected it to be. Resistant or yeah. like retardant? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a little of both over the years. I, I didn't get married until I was like 37. So, but we wanted a kid and we had him, and he's he's awesome. Every day I, I wake up with him. Uh, I get to take a nap when he does, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then at the end of the night, uh, wife comes home. We have dinner. I tag out and I leave, and I go into the city and, and do. You this. watch a lot of kids' TV with them? No, he, he doesn't will seem be. to like it, which he is will. great. <laughs> he, he will. Uh, trust me. Those high voices. Uh, I fucking hate it, but I'm it's on all the time, buddy. <laughs> What's his favorite thing? He's twelve months old. He likes music. Uh, yeah. He, he likes like any uh, mu- he'll, he'll face the TV for that, but like in the morning, I, I'll just to have white noise in the background. I'll have like first take ESPN on, and he'll only respond when that that rap song comes on at the beginning. Then he checks out. Oh shit. <laughs> He, well, he has the name of a rapper, too, yes, Lorenzo does. Rico. Absolutely. Lorenzo Rico. I mean, he has or the name of a, a black rapper, but uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll be able to work and with it. He's Mexican and Cuban, so yeah. he's of color, I suppose. And then did you call him Lauren in the joke? You call him that for short? No, nah, I just call him Lorenzo. Oh, I you said that in the – no, don't, don't, don't change it. Lorenzo's a good name. Yeah. Right, yeah. I, I thought I heard that. you say Lauren in the middle of the thing. No, I don't mention, it. I don't mention the name of the joke. Oh. Gotcha. To Just go. to a podcast full of thousands of people listening. Right. Not to the 20 people that are in here. To the thousands of people, sure. Hey, there's That's 40. Yes, you know, there are. Because you know 40. listeners of this show <laughs> jerk off to get comedians' ah, names, kids' you names. <laughs> you had to say Well, it. some <laughs> of them do. Not all right. of them. Uh, well, fun times, Tommy. It was Thanks, nice ben. to meet you. I appreciate it. Thank you Fuck guys yeah. so much. Thanks. There Thank you, you go. We got to talk with Tommy. Let's talk to Tommy Rico. He's got the Tommy jacket of a comedian for sure. That's a hardcore uh, comedian jacket. It's a Dub Davidoff jacket. Yeah, totally. Black leather, zippers. Cookies. And, uh, find him on Twitter. He's at Tommy Rico Suave, everybody. So you can look him up. Follow him. He's, he's uh, one of the more experienced comics we've had on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You hated that guy, huh, Patriot? It's starting to seep out over there. I can smell hate out of that suit. He looked like, like an old ass uh, Sean Hunter from Boy Meets World. He, he reminded me. Of wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like if his dad stayed in his life, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit. You oh. went back to 96 for that reference. Yeah. Actually, before that. <laughs> Boy Meets World. I still don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but I'm impressed by the <laughs> reference. Like, I don't know. I can't put a face to it, but damn, it must Rider be perfect. Strong, cabin fever. Yeah, I don't watch no, crappy it. crap. It's a good movie. Cabin Fever was a really good movie. Anyone seen it? I saw Jungle Fever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Thanks for the one person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I pulled out another name. Your next comedian goes by the name of Jeremy Lopez. Jeremy Lopez! <laughs> Uh oh! He, he just missed his spot. You know what that means? He he just got. Is that you, Jeremy? Oh, just taking yeah, your time. Yeah, there he is. Fuck yeah! I had to grab Come his on, backpack. Come on, J Lo. So, what you know about orange chicken? What you guys know about orange chicken? Orange chicken is the best chicken ever invented, man. 
whoever came up with the orange chicken is a fucking genius, man. I love it, man. What you know about chocolate milk? What you know about chocolate milk, dog? Whoever made up chocolate milk should be awarded a medal, dude. Uh, see ya. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, fuck. Uh, I, I don't know if black chicks got chocolate milk coming out their titties, but if they do, I'm going to marry one. I'm going to have one as my slave. And every day I'm going to suck on her titties. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah. The hey, old, hey the, what, the, what you know about stand-up comedy? How <laughs> 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 <Not> much? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Fuck. What happened, man? Did you get orange chicken and chocolate milk for the first time ever this week? Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't wow. eat those two together. You're going to shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. He showed I mean, up with premises to a gunfight. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Get off the premises. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I was waiting for anything. You just kept uh, naming things that you like a lot, huh? That's well, not thing. so much you know, that. It's uh, well, You just want to know what you knew about it. Right. I, it, it was like an aggressive. I think it was kind of like it was like a group Google search. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Orange chicken. What you know about that? <laughs> it was like an aggressive Jeopardy or some yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> What you know about orange chicken for 400? <laughs> Goddamn. Aggressive like, Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, black, uh, black uh, chocolate, milk, and black women and slaves, three words that should never go together. <laughs> right. Yeah, the slave part. Yeah. Uh, just, I, I mean, if you would have told me that the worst part was still to come in the middle of that, I would have been like, no way. But uh, that, was, uh, that was the worst. I was waiting on the ironic part there. I was like, uh eh. And of all the nights for you to do it, the f only time Lil Wayne is sitting in the front row. I mean, Lil Wheezy he, 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 is in right? the heezy. Like he everybody. kept tagging his ignorance. He just kept right. going and going. He went, and I was watching, by the way. You know, we, we have, like, the best cameras for people sitting in the front row. And oh, as soon yeah. as he said slave, he was sitting there like this. And he, this guy just I goes, saw him react. I'm like, oh, his, shit. His, his eyes just closed like this. Yeah, you know what it looked like? <laughs> You know when you get that sharp pain, like you're sitting there, ah, right. that, that's what, that's what <laughs> yeah. like your pain is. Ah, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Like you yeah. sat on a hemorrhoid or some yeah. shit. <laughs> what you know about hemorrhoids? <laughs> <laughs> For 400. <laughs> What's in the backpack, man? I don't know, but if he leaves it behind, I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 I don't think he's going to double bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh yeah. 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 Yikes. Fuck yeah. Yeah! Yikes! <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I mean, you did, last time you were on, you did the kind of the Wait, same. Wait, was on before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you well, kind of well, did like this. <laughs> You did the same thing, kind of, where you're not really doing material, and if you are, it's like, what? Uh, what, what like, you know is about it? this? Do you really want to be a comic, like, yeah. or like in the autistic alternative comedy scene, or what? Like, do you watch a lot of Josh and go, I could do this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think personal Joshy. Uh, <laughs> you look like Tito Ortiz after a fight. You know I mean? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Any, no did something fans? happen? No what, boxing what? Fans? Oh, nothing. I mean, really, no, like, no, like, no. do you do you really? Like have a set, or do you just no? I'm just uh, fucking the, around. Just fucking around. You're the really. You don't do that's not like your thing. You're not just the premise guy. And right when people think you're about to do a joke, you just go into the next thing. I was just working it that's out. That's a good. That's a good angle. Me. It sort of is. I mean, well, I don't know. Not really. Well, it's at least a good premise. <laughs> yeah, you do have good premises. I was certain you were gonna say something about orange chicken, but you said nothing. Yeah. Like the chocolate milk, the black woman breastfeeding, like, uh, you know, you that, that's, in the, that's in the zeitgeist. That's, that's right up with Asian girls have a slanted pussy. That's right, right up there with that. Yeah. Where you go, oh, great. Yeah. You hit all yeah. levels of bad tonight, which is hard to do. You did, uh, <laughs> you went over the line at one point with your slave reference. Mm -hmm. You went hacky with the chocolate milk. And you didn't do punchlines at all, which yeah. is the... You, you underachieved on the overachieving chicken. Right. Yeah, of yeah. doing bad, you're the best, man. <laughs> no. Uh, so, Jeremy, uh -huh. like, do you eat orange chicken a lot? Yeah, I like orange chicken. You like it a lot. Yeah. Have you ever had it with chocolate milk? Yeah. 
I like orange chicken with chocolate. Just milk. for the sake of comedy, you should have a third item with it. Yeah. Because comedy's in threes. <laughs> yeah. Or zeros in your case. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that that was that was the one. Everybody. <laughs> really. Um, Everybody's starting to feel bad for him. Now. You see that? <laughs> See, no. the tides have turned. Even the black guy's like, hey, man, fuck, stop fucking with him. No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I got chocolate milk in my titties. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say about orange chicken? Did you forget something, or did you just... I was at it. Were you, were you mm, thinking that shit? That was about it. Oh, well. Yeah, 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 Maybe you should think about it. it next time you're chewing some. Yeah, Just yeah, really sure. think about what it is about this chicken that makes you go, fuck, I need another line. <laughs> I mean, you're Mexican, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm. Yeah, well, Lopez. Lopez. like, nope, don't, don't know him. Uh, orange chicken? What? Yeah. What'd no, you say? Ch- doesn't he cook orange chicken? I'll go to Mr. Oh. 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 oh, Mexican joke. He's anti Asian, so he went, if you say orange chicken five times around him, he starts to flip out. Yeah. What's the hand over the mouth thing? What are you doing over there, Patriot? Uh, trying to breathe. You, oh. can, you can take off that mask if you want to. So you literally can't breathe after all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the shirt, the, the shirt, <laughs> the shirt is burning through your chest. You could, tra- you could take off that mask if you really want to, man. Yeah, if you want to. It's, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, put it back shit. on. Uh, <laughs> so easy. I could never wear that thing. My nose is too fucking big. Just <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Your mustache is much more patriotic than that mask. That's amazing. Do and Jesus look at each other and do each other's mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> we take turns doing each other's shit. He look like he's getting ready for bed and shit. I mean, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, w- what you know about mustaches? Not much. I can't grow mine in. <laughs> he does look like he's getting ready for bed. Yeah, like take your ass to bed. You got school in the morning. He got on his fucking underoos. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Jeremy Lopez! What do you wear to bed? What do I wear to bed? Yeah, that's what I'm wearing on right now. What oh, scares oh. you? What are you afraid of? Well, it's changing, the run, apparently. Right? What you know about intimacy? <laughs> 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 the dark, the dark scares me. You're afraid of the dark. Whoa, yeah. Oh, whoa. me too. Oh, hey, he has like a name. <laughs> oh. I got this. Don't worry. Darkness, <laughs> darkness. <laughs> Darkness. This guy's a serious oh, black guy, too. He even has the Bluetooth <laughs> around his neck right now, just waiting to those, take those a phone call. Those are headphones. <laughs> oh, shit. I think somebody just threw something at the... Oh, it was Lainey. Lainey. She just realized there's a black guy sitting in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> She's from Beverly that's, Hills. That's it's the sound okay. of a white lady grabbing her purse. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, my God. That is what it was. <laughs> Holy shit. She held it so tight it broke the strap. She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> she snatched Relax. her own purse. <laughs> I'm going to steal it first. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, fun times. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Hey, good job, Jeremy. Yeah. I mean, for us. Right. <laughs> he'll come here. I think we just helped him. I don't think he'll ever go on stage. Uh, no, I think like he'll do the again. exact same thing. Do you think we helped yeah. him? Him or <laughs> them? It seems like there's a good Mexican joke in Orange Chicken. Cause of orange I think Joe Coy did that already. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's probably been done That's already. why as soon as he started, wasn't this Joe Coy's joke? <laughs> Holy shit. This young lady made her debut on this show uh, two weeks ago, her L.A. comedy scene debut, and she blew our minds. We've been starstruck ever since. This is her second time ever on the show. I'm excited to have her back. Sometimes this bucket pays off. You know, it's rough. So, But uh, it's fun to have somebody back who I'm excited to see again. And her name is Jessica Wellington, everybody. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm a single woman, and I moved here from North Carolina. Don't fucking laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> I moved here from North Carolina. I went to, uh, you know, West Hollywood because it seemed to be popping to look uh, for some single men. You know, I walk in, they got, like, Shakira playing up on the screen. And I'm like, this is awesome. You know, make my way to the back. There's all these dudes dancing, and I'm like, this is awesome. And they all started taking off their shirts. I was like, this is fucking awesome. And then they started making out with each other. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because at the time with that sports bra and this haircut, I might still have a chance. It's business on the right, party on the left. Do we have any single women in here? 
Single women? Don't you? I love being single. I absolutely love it. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. I don't have to answer to anybody. You know, but at the same time, I know I can't sit up here and lie to you guys and lie to myself. You know, I know eventually I'm going to want to find that special person, you know, that one guy that I'll try <laughs> anal with again. Fuck yeah. I missed the punchline. The cat meowed over it. Uh... It was the one guy that I missed the punchline because the fucking. Oh, the one guy that I'll try anal with again. Oh, there you go. That's good. (laughs) (laughs) See that? And I'm mad that I missed that now. Yeah. (laughs) It's so fun. You crushed. Great times. Thank you. So, how long have you been in LA now? Three months. Three months. Yes. Having fun? Yeah, I love it here. It's great. I mean, all the all the shows you can see, all the talent, you guys, is great. Right. Wait a minute. <laughs> all the talent, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> and you're from North Dakota? North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Jeez, Tony. Yeah, you know. You need dairy in your life. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit off. Uh, heck yeah. So. Which part of North Carolina? Uh, Matt Olive, Goldsboro. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Seymour Johnson. Nah, yeah. that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You are on fire. Come on, son. <laughs> haven't been on stage in a while. <laughs> I love it. A lot it. of buildup. A lot of buildup in here. Yeah. So tell us more. How long have you been telling jokes? Three years this January. <coughs> what was your home club? Uh, comedy Spot in Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento okay. Comedy oh, so you spot. started up there. Yeah, and I just moved down here. So. Ah, okay, so it's not oh. really in North Carolina anymore. Right. Started no, and I was in the Air Force for six years, so I left... <laughs> Now I you're went. in the hair force. Yeah. Boom. So I did there, guys. Spin a Rooney. <laughs> this is good hair. <laughs> and how long were you in Sacramento for? Three and a half years. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going there tomorrow night. It'll be a good stop, time. You go stop where bragging. You going? No, I know. Where are you tomorrow? I'm at, I'm doing uh, Doug Loves Movies at the Punchline. Punch yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just one night and then coming back. You might see my roommate Ngayo. He's usually on that. Who? With him. Ngayo Bilam. That's a hell of a name. Yeah. He's wow. usually on that podcast with us. Does him. he run marathons? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he does. He juggles. He does comedy. He sings. He's like weird. He's a throwback. <laughs> what scares to you? To the early 90s. Yeah. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Because uh, you seem like such a tough person. I'm no, I saw through it. No, I'm she's really a, actually She's a sensitive soul. I can tell. Right. Yeah. But she you were in the Air Force. edge. I guess the hardest part has been like just making friends here because you know people expect you to be on all the time and to be funny <coughs> and it's like I'm not that way all the time right. and you always like when you meet new people here you have to uh, you have to be the creep and you have to be okay with that it's like you just have to enter a conversation be like hey what you guys talking about you know yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's so true I I when I started here I stood around silent <laughs> completely silent for like the first year. Just listening yeah. to everything. I, I honestly did the same thing. Finding out exactly what, how everybody communicated and just, you know. Yeah, I felt like an alien. Yeah. Right. That's what it feels I like. I came so from Canada, like so it was twice as oh, bad. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah. Because then I'd watch somebody get have to go to the hospital. I'm like, you want me to drop you? I don't have health care. And I'm like. <laughs> 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 oh, Americans. Did you start in Toronto? Yeah, 25 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Damn. It's amazing. Yeah, look, there we are. Here you are. Fucking Kill Tony podcast 25 That's years right. later. <laughs> you were free Monday at 8 p.m. That's right. See, Jessica, so good things can happen if you wait. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I no. love it. So uh, what scares you, though? Just that? Having to communicate with people? Like uh, social anxiety a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Um, what really scares you? I'm confused with this scare. What, what, yeah, what, what's he's getting into like this like Dr. Phil this? shit? <laughs> it's my thing. What scares you? It's my, fa- it's my favorite what question. It's the, Ron, it's the Ron Funches <laughs> question. He famously asked it to uh, people when he was on the show, and it's always an intriguing thing to find. Uh, what's your favorite great porn? new material uh, that's not right on the surface <laughs> of things. What's your favorite porn is a better question. Oh, porn. I thought you said corn. I thought you like corn. You like the Sweet Indian kind? roasted pop? What do you like? <laughs> it's true. What what search word would be fine for you? I like black men, but hey. yeah. I don't like I'm not just <laughs> <laughs> He's angry just again. Just black men. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be like blue you don't tooth meets blue I'm hair. Like fucking hitting on you. Don't have a sour look. Gets uh, <laughs> all mad, right? Fuck yeah. <laughs> we need to have You act like you don't like blue haired bitches. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'd watch you guys fight and fuck. 
<laughs> I'd pay for both of those. Double feature. <laughs> and Jeremy Lopez will be sitting around eating orange chicken and jerking yeah. off. <laughs> Not writing jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what you two know about fucking? <laughs> We should have a new character on the show where he just sits there, like w- underneath, like an umbrella in the corner, just yeah. doing faces. The, the lounging, uh, the lounging P Diddy guy. umbrella. I love it. I like any man that can piss my dad off. So, oh, oh. that works. Oh. That guy it is. Yeah, <laughs> works every time. Or Puerto Rican. I dated Puerto Rican. He hated him. Anything. Yeah, so your dad's a good old boy. Oh yeah, he sent me to my priest when I was a kid because uh, my first crush was on a black boy. Um, I don't know, like exercise the demons out of me. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't get it. But now he sent me to my priest, and I told the priest, I was like, I thought Jesus loved everybody, you know, like red and yellow, black Preach. or white. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, but you got to honor your mother and father. I was like, this Ooh. is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so I left. <laughs> I Do you talk about that on stage? A little bit, yeah. Cause uh, yeah, I have like a tie back to what that. What does your dad do for work? Burns um, crosses. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, he's 65 now, so he used to do uh, carpentry. Mm. Yeah. Is he missing any fingers? N- no, almost, because he did work in an explosive plant in uh, oh. Florida. <laughs> and it went and blew up in his hand, yeah. Wow. I thought you How'd you know that? I've had my shit blown <laughs> up in my hand, but just left a mess. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get to see him? When's the last time you saw him? Long um, time? Like two, three years ago. If he's listening to this podcast right now, is there anything you'd like him to hear you say? Uh, Tell him you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Did he and ever that, lose any fingers inside of you? And, and when little... And, oh, damn. Whoa. <laughs> you went, you went, you went you're a different way there. You're treading the line. I am white trash, so... <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't her dad. It was her uncle. Jesus. <laughs> and he's Not in North... Jesus. I mean... He's hey. in North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wishing he was in South Carolina. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like, I guess. <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, it was fun times having you on again. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. Jessica Wellington is on Twitter. She's the Duchess underscore 101. The Duchess underscore 101. Sounds Fuck like a yeah. webcam name. Might be. Well, hey, you know, she was right up Jesus's alley. Yeah, not bad. BBW. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Big blue and white girl. She got good. <laughs> 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 Have you ever been with a big woman or it's just something you uh, fantasize about? No, yeah, I, I'm, I'm usually into the uh, bigger girls, yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid of a bigger girl. I'm no. down. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I'll play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give it a you know, <laughs> Yeah. Like a big girl, like if, you know, I'll be like, Right, I'll focus on that one part she has. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid of them. Personality. They got to no, know. They can't. You can't be big and have a flat ass. Like you see that a lot of times. Right. And you're like, wait, what, what the fuck? How? What kind of shit deal is this? Yeah. <coughs> they spend a lot of time sitting down. That's why. Yeah. They yeah. tired all the time. It looks like know? a yield sign from the back. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 look like SpongeBob SquarePants ass. You know? I'm I'm not into big women. Not, not, not in the bedroom, in front of me, in like the movie theater popcorn line and shit like that. You know, they just take forever. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, <laughs> have you ever been with a big woman, Tony? Like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got that drunk one night. It's it feels better. It's more skin. It's oh wetter. yeah, it's, it's super fun. It's okay. like uh, it's Which like one? it's like uh, <laughs> it's like hard to not laugh. It's like both a comedy <laughs> and uh, sex at the same time. What is big big women to me? Oh, they're good. They're good. It's buddy. like. It feels good. I'll give it that. It's like the same uh, same thing. It's like the same. I'll tell thing. you what. I I uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I recently <laughs> I recently banged. Look, a look. Chip. Jessica can it's handle good. what I'm saying. I'm not into big women. <laughs> Every everybody's into different. I'm also not into black men. But I didn't go. Oh, when she said that. Well, not anymore. A bunch of weirdos in here, man. You can't make fun of big people anymore. Oh my God, he can't said that they it. order a lot at the concession stand. It's like, yeah, they do. <laughs> I like that you went into like a gay voice yeah. and then back to your voice and yeah. it's almost the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they order a lot at the concession stand. Isn't that rude? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you broke character. You broke character. <laughs> I do not even talk like that. Um, 
<laughs> Jaron, how you doing? Would you plow Jessica? Uh, no, but she's cool. I like her. What's your thing? Yeah, she, yeah, she's got enough personality too. I, like, I think she's, she's funny. Cool. I think she, I right. think her dad will like me, but I don't <laughs> think so. No, I. Have You're a, a black guy in a fucking Captain America costume. <laughs> 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 you are. You are everything her dad fears. But I, no, but I have. I have a Dale Earnhardt debit card. Oh well, that might work. Yeah. Just show him your debit card with no money on it. <laughs> Way to rub it in, Russell. Come on. You hey, could, Suze, talk to him. You could hey. probably pull it off with her dad. You'd have to keep the mask on the whole time. And probably. Yeah, you I know, could. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. yeah. That I was that I was black? Yeah, with the mask on. Why? Well, I didn't fucking know. Oh. It sounded like you were like, hey, so Russell, let me ask you a question <laughs> and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was researching you like a motherfucker last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't know. That's uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you been with a big woman before? Uh, almost, but but until when she took her uh, thing off, I pieced out. What? <laughs> Wow, now it's that's the crazy it's not one. Not my fault. I, I wouldn't have been able to have sex with her. I'm, I'm not saying that, that big women are, are bad or anything. Uh, He's just saying I leave just your shirt on. It, it, would have been, it wouldn't have been possible. How what? old are you? I'm 25. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, no, the, the fucking. The, I'm 44. I, at this age, you're like, all right, yeah, I'll take that. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'll fuck a big bitch. I don't care. I don't care. You gotta, you gotta do them all. Find them out. Find out. You yeah, know I, mean? I don't know. It's you don't even know sometimes. Like I, I did this big chick, and she was big ass on her, and she was good. Like, but, but there's like, there's like skinny chicks with big ass on. Them. No, no, no. Yeah, but those are fake. This is real. Well, you can tell by the ankles and legs. <laughs> From the knees down, if it's skinnier like that, ass ain't real. Yeah, you're, you, you're gonna, ass. you're gonna get into big women. About 26, 27, nah, be- 35. Beers. Beers in one night, and uh, you'll totally, you'll totally end up with one. Stepped on your joke, I but apologize. no, you made it better. You played right into it. Thirty-five. They just didn't hear it because they're not ready for s- shit that smart to happen in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, your next comedian is Robin Ryan. Oh snap! Sounds like a new name to me. Oh shit! Oh! Standing ovation. Hey, Jesus, this is like your second coming. <laughs> Guys, one more time. Give it up for Robin Ryan. There she yeah. is. Fuck yeah. Uh, I really wanted to be like my mom when I was a kid. And the problem with that is my mom is just a really butch lesbian. Um, so I, she taught me to be like her, so I'm not very good at being a girl. Um, like I just, like I didn't know that bras had cup sizes until I was like in my 20s. And I just had like one boob down here for years. Uh, we'd go to Target and she'd be like, you can pick any of the sports bras you want. Uh, so I did. (laughs) Um, I, I, I had a mullet until I was in eighth grade. Because lesbians have mullets. And uh, I would say, Mom, I think I want a different hairstyle. And she would say, that's the way our hair grows, Robin. Uh, (laughs) My mom still has a mullet. Uh, She lives in Palm Springs because that's where lesbians go to die. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, no, I wanted to be just like her. Um, I don't know how to put on makeup. Oh, that's it. We're done. Good. Okay. You can finish it. Finish that finish one. Finish it, Robin. Finish you it. You don't know how to put on oh, makeup. I don't know how to put on makeup, so I put it on like it's sunscreen, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, and it was worth finishing. Hell yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, Robin. Where you are you from? Uh, I'm from Napa. 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 Wow. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about a little bit more than a year. You do it up there, or you come down here? I live down here now. Oh, cool. So you've lived down here for the past year? No, I've lived down here for four months. Awesome. That's yeah. so much fun. How are you yeah. enjoying it? Uh, I, I love it. Yeah. If you ever miss your mom, you can go to Santa Monica. No, like, <laughs> they live in Palm Springs. Uh, no. Yeah, it's awesome. She's like an hour and a half away from me. I, I liked your bra cup size, but I think you had it a little bit, like, you need to reword it because it's a little backwards. Like, I think the idea of where you could buy any size and it's just.
just your whole bra, you know? I think that's what you're saying, right? <coughs> like, like if you put you on a... change it to tank top or like wife beater. Oh, okay. Because that'd be funnier, too. Because yeah. lesbians wear those, too, don't they? Is that what you were saying? Like, that you'd put on like a sports bra and it would just... You'd be one big boob just down one here. Boob. Yeah, just maybe. One. However, you said it. I think you maybe should say like this. The, like I got the sports bra, and then it would make it one boob. Because you said the one boob first, and then you'd go. I go to the store and get a sports bra. Like I think you should say okay. that first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Just because I was kind of confused what you were saying, and then once I don't know. Never mind. Okay. Thanks, Red Band. Yeah, I don't even. I have no idea what the. Now she's got to go wash. <laughs> Did that make sense? Then you got to go wash her bra because you shit all over it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work? I'm an elementary school special ed teacher. Wow. wow. Elementary school special ed. Wow, that's... So what are you teaching, like, 35-year-olds? <laughs> <laughs> I teach seven, eight, nine-year-olds that did are... Did Jeremy like, Lopez come with you, or did you? <laughs> <laughs> that's why he had his backpack on. He came from school today. <laughs> Is this an outreach program? <laughs> right, and when does writing class start? <clears throat> what you know about special ed teachers? <laughs> <laughs> you know about one titty. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been teaching special ed? Uh, this is my 10th year. Wow. Tenth oh. year. How old are you? Wow. You look young as shit. I'm 32. Oh, wow. I thought you were like 21 when you walked yeah. in. Yeah. Well, you don't have to wish you look it, so that's good. Yeah, so youthful. Generally, white people age terribly. I know. You <laughs> so you're already beating the odds. Uh, <laughs> what's some Black, crazy... I love that joke, see? <laughs> What's some crazy stuff that uh, you've seen go on in the classroom? Um, I had a parent one time who gave her kid a laxative, uh, like, <coughs> the night before. To a special ed kid? To a right. special ed kid. Who, oh, who was, awesome. He was, in first, <laughs> right. he was in first grade and then bon- had been potty trained halfway through kindergarten, so he'd only been using, like, the toilet for about a year. And he came running out of the <laughs> bathroom um, with just a T-shirt on, running out onto the playground during recess, sobbing. Um, and I walked into the bathroom with him, and there was just shit spread all oh. over one of the walls. Oh, my God. And he couldn't figure out what to do because he just shit so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Did you videotape it? I did not, wow. no. Why'd she give that him a laxative? That would have been a good Instagram pic. Because he hadn't pooped in over a week. <laughs> oh, my God. In over a week? Well, yeah, wow. That's a, that's that's a, a that's week's worth of shit on the yeah. wall. Yeah. That's yeah. a critical Was there a fan part. in there? Because uh, it would have been amazing you know, if it hit I, that. I, uh, I just called the janitor. I don't clean up oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, so there's what kind of, like, do you work with autistic kids or yeah, mostly? Yeah, the students that I work with are have autism and a lot of ADHD and, like, specific learning disabilities. So you're an ABA instructor, too? I am not. Oh, you're not? No, okay. I don't know ABA. Okay. Nice. What, are you going to hire are you for something? What are you, uh, <laughs> you're also you a comedian too, right? and a principal? Yeah. So was I. Yeah. Yeah, so was I, but back in the 80s, there was no diagnosis for ADD yeah. or right. ADHD. They just yeah, I was, I was in a stupid. special class for a long time. Oh, me right, too. So, yeah. I'm with you, toots. I had, the yeah. same, I had regular school, but they made me take Ritalin every day. What? They didn't really? yeah. color teachers book. appreciated yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. They they, didn't, thank they, God they didn't have that shit in the 80s. They used to call me down to the office, like, after lunch, if you forgot to go take your pill, they just go over the entire school <laughs> intercom and rattle off all the kids with ADD. That are so ADD that they forget to take their medicine. Like looking back on it, I'm like, how the fuck did this yeah. go on? And it bothered me then, big time, because it was like it's like totally embarrassing yeah, back yeah. then. But uh, you still take it? No, no, no. We can harness it. Yeah, well, I just smoke it all away. I just remember <laughs> reading books. Like I remember reading books with those big ass headphones before they were cool. It's like, fuck, I want to go outside. You know? Right. <laughs> Oh, that like, was me. Like I would, like the book would be done. I stopped turning pages, but the audio kept going. I'm like, shit, I went too fast. I mean, like, yeah. I, I can't even read. find this. Yeah, it's like being in church and the priest is like, oh, what yeah, page? Like, you? Yeah, and you look like, uh, what fucking page are we on here? Uh, uh, God did what? Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, are there a lot of things? Do you talk about the special ed thing in you your stand up at all? I do. Great. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you have such a fun charisma, like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love how you, like you laugh at yourself and stuff. I think I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got a natural funniness. Thank you. It's an Thank easy you. thing for it, it should be an easy road for you to go down. I hope so. Cuz I want to yeah. get the fuck out of there. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Stay with the tards. They need you cuz um Oh. <coughs> oh, oh. Really? Is that that's where we are now? It's so you know weird. What? You know what? Here. They're very picky nice. and choosy. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh. She high fives it. I'm that okay with it. that I'm means okay. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, Jeez, guys. we're just getting the tardy started fucking in you. here. Um, <laughs> it's fucking younger generation and your political correct bullshit, right? <laughs> Russell, <laughs> and that's just me. Um, yeah. That's a great Tony impression, Russell. Yeah, 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> Rob and Ryan. So yes. what else? What, what, what else is he going on He wants to know what life? scares you, apparently. Um, <laughs> what, are you, what are you afraid of? Uh, desks that fly every day. <laughs> desks. Strong deaf kids. Oh. They can throw shit at me. Wow. Yeah, desks and chairs. Man. But it's not really anger at you. Oh, no, she screams, I'm so angry, and throws a desk at me. Uh, Somebody has to teach them this, because I don't... You know, there were, like, angry kids in my school. They all went to jail for murder eventually, but... Um, <laughs> But it was never like, I'm so angry. They, we just knew. You're like, that I mean, it's like crazy. somebody talks, and then she's like, I'm so angry, and then she throws a desk. Man. Can I tell you? Yeah, somebody facilitated that at some point, and then they were like, ooh, I'm going to use this. Yeah. Yeah. I just put her outside. I drag her chair outside. Yeah. Like, Can I, there was an outside. enabler in that person's life. Can I tell you a joke that I'd love to hear you do? Okay. Because only you could talk about this, and it's <laughs> okay. like, I feel like it's funny. Because okay. you could really set it up just by being honest. Okay. Is that, and I'm going to follow it up with a question okay. to get more stuff out of you. But if you were like, uh, I've been teaching special ed for 10 years, and it's very rewarding. Like I had a student that I taught 10 years ago come up to me the other day, and he told me just, <laughs> derp, <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, in real life, uh, after teaching for 10 years, have you gotten to see any of your students go on and do anything? Like, are they good, like, uh, you know, uh, Salvation Army Christmas bell ringers and stuff <laughs> that have gone through your system, like uh, coupon clippers or something <laughs> hey like that? Man, I, I'm not making this up. But the, I went to that kind of school, <laughs> and there's a Denny's in my hometown of Brampton, and I walked in, and I seen a kid from my <laughs> class in the, dish, in the dishwashing back. I was like, oh, shit. I go, David. He goes, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, he didn't remember me at all, but I'm like, I remember him. The fucking yeah. Some have it worse than others, I yeah, guess. Yeah, he had he had it bad. It's he so was, funny. Uh, he's he's you guys were in the same class. He's a dishwasher class, at Denny's. He can't even uh, afford to buy the Forbes magazine that you're no, he, in he, for <laughs> making money. <laughs> he doesn't even know what I do. Like he still doesn't like nothing registers. It's not like right. oh, there's Russell. Wow, he did great. It's like who the fuck are you? Yeah, I'm like we were in class together for two years uh, um so i've moved around a lot i'm on my eighth school district oh wow and wow. three different oh teams. yeah you're one of those teachers that just What's like kills kids and then moves on to the next city <laughs> no yeah. Yeah. we yeah. find out yeah. later that yeah. sleeps yeah. with um, the kids so i'm from napa and then i moved to georgia and i taught in south carolina and i taught in georgia yeah, you gotta go and where there's an abundance of them oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then i <laughs> <laughs> And then I moved back to Napa, then I moved to Sacramento, and then I moved here. Wow. I think Jessica didn't like that one. The, huh? reason, uh, <laughs> the reason I asked you if you were an ABA instructor, because that was my first job right out of uh, college, and I did that for a whole year. And when you said desk fly, like, I can totally relate, because there were times where you show up and they were upset. There was, like, something had set them off, and, I mean, you just see pencils fly. Like, I, I remember this, uh, this teacher got clotheslined by the student. Uh, yeah. For no reason, it, you know, because yeah. he didn't have a sticker on his desk. So it's like, it, it's hard. Like, I got my ass kicked every morning. So it's yeah. like, I, I, I know. Yeah. I had a kid throw um, a book at me, and it just left like a bruise. What? Like on uh, my chest to the point where I was like, I think I need to go to the doctor. Man, if I if I had to do this, now are you allowed to do things like like I would just keep a dead bird in a box and show him and go like, look, if anyone does anything fucked up, I'm gonna throw this dead bird at you. <laughs> I think that would work to those, like, uh-uh, not that's, I wouldn't even do it, you know? Even in my school, it would have been like, a bird, <laughs> you know? Right. Well, get like, really they gross wouldn't even, It wouldn't even register that thing's dead. Birdie. Uh, right. You know? No, because then I would just have people, like, all day long being like, did you see the dead bird? There's a dead bird. We should go see yeah, the, dead bird. A dead bird. Well, a dead bird. There's a dead bird. Well, then poop. A big turd. <gasps> get some cow turd. Yeah. Or just have the laxative kid shit on yeah. people. <laughs> you should have taken the whole class and gone, see this? This is what you're... He's actually, get. The, he's actually the favorite kid I've ever had. What's it, uh, well, I guess his name doesn't really matter. Because he's the shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. it, wh- why? Why do you like him so much? Um, he obviously doesn't shit on the walls like that every day. No, no. I actually, he's one that I get updates about. My friend is the vice principal at the school that he's at now. And um, when I had him, he was um, mute. And he, like, would just sit there. And then, like, he was, like, a super sweet kid. And, like, and we got him to, like, play with the other kids. And... He was um, so now he's like reading and he's talking and he has friends and so he's he's kind of great now. Mm-hmm. How yeah. old is he? Uh, he would be a fifth grader now. Oh, he's a sweet kid, he's, huh? He's a sweet kid, yeah. And, and you look like you love sweets. Oh, oh. <laughs> see what I'm talking? This is a very like <laughs> she's <laughs> laughing at that. Yeah. All right, fuck she's it. She's right in front of you. At least the tards aren't here. God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I actually and they're <laughs> never going to find this. <laughs> Robin, so did you know Jessica from Sacramento? I do, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you guys made friends there. Holy yes. shit. Where'd you guys meet at? I'm guessing a uh, Wendy's. God, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, yeah fuck Let you. Let him know, go. Robin. It was Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Robin, it was so nice to meet you. Please Thank come you back too. soon. Awesome. Robin Ryan, I love it. She's on Twitter at Robin Ryan. R-O-B-I-N. Ryan. Numbers? Are those numbers? What are they? She's Robin Ryan 200 on Twitter. So don't go to 199. You're going to get the wrong one. I hope you're not teaching those retards handwriting because yours is uh, <laughs> wicked retarded. Right. Maybe she's a doctor. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. All right. Well. Well. well okay. It's not just that. Yeah. Okay, this guy actually works here. He's a uh, young employee of the comedy store, which uh, grooms and builds many comedians. I used to work here. Put your hands together for him. It's Jared Levin. <laughs> Jared Levin! I'm guessing he's getting stoned behind the comedy store. This is about his third time missing a spot here on this show. So he working. just got blacklisted. Make noises. He's probably... Uh, he's probably... Uh, Jared Levin. There he goes. He's he working. just got blacklisted. Uh, Somebody else will get a spot. The actual comic patriot just tweeted me. He's such a crazy fuck. <laughs> just tweets stuff at me like movie fun facts. Did you know that Samuel L. Jackson was in the movie Coming to America? What? I just yes, he was crazy. the gunman at McDowell's. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you know Jeff Garland was working at a donut shop in RoboCop 2? I did not know that, but apparently he stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Joey Crudo. <laughs> Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Good. So I had a very interesting doctor's appointment the other day. Um, my doctor, she had me take off my shirt for an x-ray, right? And she just looks at my body and goes, Joey, you're overweight. I don't know if you know this, but men can also get breast cancer. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, but did you just say that I have man boobs? I swear to God, this is what she did. She looked at my cupcakes, right? And then she reached out and squeezed one. <laughs> like, she actually squeezed my titty, okay? And then she said, yeah, you have a handful. But you're a good size. I've seen bigger. Then she left the room, right? And I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And I noticed that one nipple was hard, you know, the one that she touched. But my other nipple was soft. Kind of looked like Forrest Whitaker's lazy eye. I guess all I'm saying is that we're all Picasso beautiful guys. That's my time. There Thank you, you go. Exactly one minute, one minute. from Joey Crudo. <laughs> Joey Crudo. Fuck yeah, so you're talking about having tits, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's the theme tonight, isn't it? Were you there for a mammogram or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> back pains. And believe it or not, it's posture because I'm trying to hide my man boobs. Uh, so uh, men with big boobs. So your titties are pulling you forward. It yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. So it's true what they say, ladies. <laughs> Your tits will get you ahead. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you that you sort of look like a real-life version of one of the South Park kids? You know, <laughs> you know what's funny is I was looking at it, and yeah. I was like, you know when they do like an artist rendition? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like of somebody, and they're like, and he had uh, kind of Asian eyes and uh, sort of an afro, and then he was kind of white, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but he was tall, and he was big. He had childlike features, but he was a man. I don't yeah. know what the fuck was going on. And then, and then fucking Joey Crudo shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the ghost. Is that an earthquake? Or, uh, whoa, whoa. That's an oh. interesting hey, all the uh, lanterns oh. are moving. Is that an earthquake? Yeah, that never happens. Oh. 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 I thought I'd just blink fast. Is it shaking? Yeah. I don't feel it. Oh, it's the big one. I guess Pat Reagan was right. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be fucked up if the podcast made it through? The and water. and the no, I don't no. feel it. The water's not moving. I, it's th not. I think that's just the reverb of this yeah. podcast crushing. <laughs> It could be uh, Joey Crudo's tits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... Uh, Joey. Yes, sir. Um, so when you were... When Robin Ryan taught you uh, kindergarten... <laughs> no. Where are you from? Where are you from, Joey? Seattle. 
Seattle. How long have you been here? Uh, we just came down. There's no just uh, visiting. There's no scene right now in Seattle for about a week. So we. Why is that? You know, clubs are closed. Christmas holidays. Oh, so. I gotcha. Yeah. How long have you been on stand up? Oh, not that long. Seven months. Eight what months. do you do for work? Oh, brand new. Brand new. What do I do for work? Oh, I got fired. I'm unemployed. What did you get fired from? Uh, I used to be a doorman at a condo building until the boss gave me his penthouse for a week, and I invited all the comics over. Uh, Never do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were the door guy at a condo. Yeah, condo building. So, like, what would you you would just open up the gate for people and stuff, I'd or what? the door, let people in. You know. Good. Good gig. Yeah, it's a good gig. Got me through college. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they have an opening now. <laughs> <laughs> it got you through college? Yeah. What did you get your degree in? Psychology. Ooh la la. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Not very well. Not right. doing much with it, am I? You should have known that the boss was going to get mad. I sh- that's true. I should have known that. <laughs> As a psychology major, you should have right. seen that one coming. Yeah. What, uh, what did you and the comedians do to the penthouse? Wow. A lot of things. I had one guy uh, blow chunks all over the wall. Of the bathroom, didn't tell me. I didn't check it out, and it dried on the wall. So when he got home, we saw some puke hanging on the wall. Uh, someone left their boxers in between the master bed sheets. So that was fun when they, they gave that back to me. Hey, I think these are yours. They weren't mine. Did they you invite not. any chicks over? Oh, I invited. <laughs> 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 I got this penthouse. Come on, guys. <laughs> I got tits. Let's party. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious. <coughs> what do you like about Seattle? I fucking love Seattle, man. What do you love, love about it? it? Marijuana. <laughs> Marijuana, it's legal, and we smoke it all the time. The coffee's great. Uh, I don't like the women as much. The word feminist is like faggot out there. Can't use that very well. Uh, the word what? Feminist. Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck yeah! That's you say. Uh, you say feminist twice, and uh, the <laughs> lucky crow comes out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the North Hollywood, uh, North Hollywood eagle crow. Uh, so when your grandma bought you that shirt for Christmas, <laughs> did you promise her that you'd wear it this week, or like, did, is that part of the deal, or what? No, Big and Tall had a sale, and uh, there was only Ralph Lauren chap shirt. Big and Tall, more like short and wide. Uh, <laughs> all right, he's actually pretty tall. Yeah, just, what, what, what are you, six, three? That'll fool some of those podcast six, listeners three, for six, a second, three. though. They'll half laugh at that. Then they'll really laugh at this part because they're thinking, wow, I did half laugh at that. <laughs> anyway, it's weird because it's, it's a podcast. Anyway, Joey. Glad we're doing visual jokes on a podcast. <laughs> exactly. What scares you? Bras. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, obviously the barber. The barber. Oh. What's wrong with my hair? No. Oh, obviously <laughs> nothing. Maybe only I can... All right, forget it. I mean, you could... I mean, I, I do what I can with what I have left. Yeah. And I got hair envy, so I look at that and I go, fucking waste. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you recommend I do with it, man? I don't know. Maybe Two blade uh, on the okay. side, lightly blended up to the top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, can't, you, yeah. you can't just have <laughs> one length <laughs> yeah. all the way around. You're shaped like a lollipop. You do have like a, a white guy afro thing. What's going yeah, on? It's a Jewish thing, right? Oh, it's a Jew oh, it's a okay. Jew fro. You're like yeah. if Blake Griffin had Down syndrome. <laughs> yeah, you're like clipper. broke Griffin. <laughs> uh, okay. So you got fired from being a doorman. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So you're unemployed now. I'm unemployed. And doing comedy. Doing he showed comedy, himself yeah. the door. He got fired. Yeah, I did. Uh, Where'd you get the shirt? That, one, that was <laughs> lost. I just, I, I just, just, want, myself I just wanted to let that one fucking marinate <laughs> in the ether. Uh, well, Robin, it was fun meeting you. <clears throat> That's not Robin. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 Sometimes the pieces of paper get Same mixed Same size up. titties, different gender. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Crudo. Hey, thank you guys very much. He's on Twitter at Joe Crudo. Fuck yeah. All the way from Seattle. I thought I smelled something fishy. But it was just Robin and uh, Jessica's vaginas, everybody. See, I just keep going back to them. You know I love you, too. Jared Levin Fuck. showed up. <laughs> You're not getting to go up. Yeah, too late Welcome now. to show business, bro. See you later. You got blacklisted. Oh. Put them on. You're booing that? You're booing people not showing up on time for their... He was working. 
You were working? Yeah. All right, come on up. Here yeah. he is, everybody. Come Jared Levin. Jared Levin. Jared he's, Levin. Unlike Joey, he's an employed doorman of yeah. this comedy club. Yeah, I feel That's safe right, when he's man. there. People trust me with stuff. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I know, exactly. I don't know, man. Yeah, dude, my mom's like a stripper, and I think I got her ass. Like, somebody took a picture of my ass and then started jerking off. It's like, who's that chick? And then I'm like, that was me. I started getting that hot chick ego, man. I don't know. A lot of people ask me for drugs a lot. <laughs> like, I, dude, comics are asking me for drugs, man. I got to stop dressing like a Charles Dickens character. You know, I'm just like, oh, I got a bunch of pills and I'll make you high as a kite. And I've got a needle and I'll make you go in a haystack. That's right. I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's weird, man. I'm a cop magnet. I get pulled over a lot, you know? Cops ask me weird questions like, I don't know, why are you nervous? I don't know, maybe because I'm being handcuffed, you donut brain. Yikes. You should have just kept working. Yeah, you should have. You should have uh, let this set just go away. Right. <laughs> I did better downstairs. Well, yeah, it must have been. <laughs> Last time you were on, you were flipping on the, on the floor. It looked like you were hurting yourself. It freaked out the whole audience because the audience was freaked. This time you started punching yourself way too hard for no reason. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, you are – what is up with you, man? Why? Very physical. Yeah, you just smack yourself at night? I mean, what do you do? Oh, dude, man, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. Fuck I don't think yeah. he needed to tell us that. Yeah. <laughs> right. He commits to it. I mean, uh, you gotta go in that, man. That's that's pretty double. Well, yeah. I think committing is uh, something that's w necessary. What was the first thing you talked about? Yeah, suicide. Oh, oh, by the way. Is, um, fuck. I think Cut I had myself. my mom's ass. Did you hear that? <laughs> my I my fucking mom stepped on a great joke. You said it's definitely important to commit. I go, yeah, suicide. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. But go on. Oh no, like. <laughs> I had his a, mom's ass. My, yeah, my mom. My mom's a stripper, and I think I have her ass. Is she really a stripper? Yeah. Uh, Still? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, sh seven years oh. ago. Oh yeah, about the guy jerking off. Like it's not clear what you're saying at all. You just go. Somebody took a picture of my ass, and then just started jerking How off. How are people just taking pictures of your ass? Like, uh, I did like a performance art show, and someone took a picture of my ass, sent it to a guy. Are you and then naked started, in the performance art show? Yeah. Oh great. <laughs> Bare ass. All right, Jared, we got to move along. Thank you. Hey, buddy. I'm Jared Levin. There he goes. He's on Twitter. Jared, Jared Levin. Levin. Your final comedian of the night. Normally, we have two uh, young ladies that do a brand new minute every single week. One of them is on uh, Christmas break in Florida. So oh, that's that Kimberly is. Congdon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and uh, our other uh, comedian is here. Put your hands together for it. It's Sarah Weinshank. <laughs> Does Sarah. a brand new minute every single week on this show. What's up? There's Hey. <laughs> There's something really fucked up about eating shrimp tacos in the food court of an aquarium. <laughs> Just like, no, nah, I'm good. Pass. Aquariums are bullshit as well. It's like, you want to come look at some fish sit in a tank? You want to pay money for that? It's like, if you want to watch a fish, you can just get a few and put them in some water. It's the same experience. It makes no sense. It makes no sense that the aquarium isn't combined with the zoo. It seems like it's kind of the same stuff, except fish are just more boring. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's look at what's going on in these tanks, and then go upstairs to the food court. I'm getting hungry. I hear they have shrimp here. I'm in the mood for some shrimp tacos. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I, li I like what you're, uh, yeah. I get it. Great premise, for sure. Like, an aquarium is pretty much like uh, if people paid to go look at Louisiana after Katrina, I feel <laughs> like. Like, there's something there to where it's like if a zoo got flooded out and replaced with more boring animals. And plus, yeah. you can't even touch the tank. Yeah. You Aquariums the tank. are fucked up. You can? Yeah. You can touch some Yeah, but what are you going to touch? Yeah. Just fucking glass. Might as yeah. well go to the check cashing place and do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bank. Right. They, it's weird that they do do that because I was at SeaWorld and they had like like shrimp and... Right, and Seaman World. Seaman World. World. <laughs> and they, but they had like, you go to a restaurant and they had like all the different regular fish choices and you're like, well, isn't this weird that yeah. we're here to celebrate like fish? They, they sell hamburgers at the fucking yeah. San Diego Zoo. That's true. That's crazy. They don't have cows there, 
They got fucking bison <laughs> shit. <laughs> they got turkey. Whatever, man. They fucking eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so did you go to an aquarium this week? Is that what happened? No, I just was thinking about aquariums earlier. Mm-hmm. Thinking how a I'm little glad I haven't been to one in a while. Thinking a little inside the box. <laughs> yeah. Aquarium like jokes, yeah. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Not often brought up in the comedy world, but when in Rome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Did the commercial for Aquarium of the Pacific no, pop into your head? No, I was just thinking about, you know, the end of two relationships ago. <laughs> and I remember <laughs> part of that end was an aquarium visit. <laughs> and I feel like that was like the end, you know? Because then he went down on you after looking at all those fish? No, because I was... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I got it. You missed that guy? You missed that one that you went to the aquarium with? No, I was thinking that I don't... Is is he like the one that got away? (laughs) No. (laughs) That swam away? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So you didn't have shrimp tacos at an aquarium. You thought of that? No, but I've been to the aquarium and I saw shrimp tacos and i thought i would never fucking eat those right especially here yeah they're probably fresh (laughs) (laughs) that's exactly what i was thinking i'm like (laughs) yeah that's fun that's fun to play with like the the freshness of the fish and all that crap you could probably it's probably a lot there you could play with right you flip it into a well what how much fresher can they fucking get they're right there Right. Yeah. It's like going yeah. picking your lobster at a restaurant. Right. I want that motherfucker dead. I want Shamu. Yeah. Screw shrimp. Sh- but how's the That's eel? Funny. Right there. Yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. shrimp tacos. Where's the sushi bar in this joint? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> obviously this audience can't afford sushi. Um, <laughs> turned on me again. Wine shank. On a roll there, uh, we got to wrap it up. We went a little bit too long this show. We got to go. Okay. She's amazing, everybody. Thank Sarah Wine shank. She writes a brand new minute every fucking week. All these other people just got lucky out of the bucket. She's on Twitter at Princess Shank. Does a brand new minute every week. So fun. Uh, Jerron Horton, thank you so much. A great patriot. Unbelievable. Follow him and his mustache on Twitter. He's at Jerron Horton. J-E-R-R-O-N-H-O-R-T-O-N. Jesus Trejo, what's going on? Uh, Just chilling. I'm going to be in town, uh, uh, St. Louis. Uh, at the end of January. All That's right. It. St. Louis at the end That's of it. January. He's Jesus Trejo. H e J e s u s t r e j o. Got it. Yep. And the amazing Russell Peters made time for us tonight on a Monday night, hey. everybody. So grateful. So thankful. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for having me. You're going to sell out whatever you do anyway, so you don't need to promote <laughs> anything. Uh, I, won't, I won't be in town. I'll be good. I love it. I'm going to Sweden. I'm going when? to Stockholm, I'm, I'm Sweden, in the middle of January. I'll be there in April. Oh, cool. And hey, uh, are you still with Rogan? Yeah. I'll be there tomorrow. Oh, cool. Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Sorry uh, to cross-promote a uh, podcast here, but, you know. Thank you so much to the live audience. And uh, I'm Tony Hinchcliffe, Brian Redband. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>